What's going on everybody? My name is Steve. I'm the apartment brewer. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time viewing it, you might be wondering why am I calling myself the apartment brewer when I'm clearly not in an apartment anymore? Sometimes I'm here on the back porch. Sometimes I'm in the basement. Sometimes I'm in the backyard. This video is going to serve two purposes. First of all, if you are a first time viewer, this is going to show you what my channel is all about, give you a taste of what's going on in my videos. And if you like that, please hit that subscribe button. Secondly, if you are a long time channel viewer and you still haven't had the question answered of why I moved and what's going on with that, well, stick around and I'll tell you that as well. So if it's your first time here, I do want to say welcome. Thank you for checking out the channel. My channel is all about home brewing content, making your own beer at home and how to do it right, how to do it well. My channel focuses on showing you how to do various kinds of beer styles, all the way from start, recipe design, through the brew day, techniques during the fermentation, all the way down to the final product at the end of the video, showing you how it turns out every time. I'm not doing every single BJCP style, I'm just doing what I like to brew, but I do like to brew a wide variety of things. I've done tons of IPAs, I'm doing a huge series on Pilsners, I'm working my way through some Belgian styles right now, as well as playing around with a ton of different Kvike strains. My grain of glass content focuses on the details of how to make that beer the best way you possibly can, giving you all the tools for success. The other thing too, is that there's just not gonna be any faking whether or not my beer turns out good or not. At the end of the day, I'm gonna always give an honest critique of my beer, and sometimes it's not good, but sometimes it is good. I did actually have a beer medal at the National Homebrew Competition this year, so I do occasionally brew a good batch. So if you like that sort of thing, please watch the Grain of Glass videos, but I also do gear reviews, tips and technique videos, that sort of thing as well, so there's plenty of content on my channel that covers that in addition to the Grain of Glass videos. And now if you're wondering why I am no longer in an apartment and still calling myself the apartment brewer, well, now we're gonna answer that question. So where am I right now? I'm in a condo, which is just outside of Boston. Uh, I moved down from my old apartment in Nashua, New Hampshire, down to the Boston area a couple months ago because I got married. This originally was my wife's place, and now I moved in. It's a very nice place with about the same square footage as the apartment, but I also have the basement, which I modified out to become my home brewery, as well as this deck, which I really do like to film off of. It's a big step up in terms of being able to have some dedicated space to work with home brewing, but understand that I still am using the same principles of apartment brewing. That is being consolidated, being organized, using single tier systems, all in one systems, like the claw hammer supply system that I currently work with. I still run a small kegerator that fits in the corner. I still keep all of my stuff organized down in the basement. I don't have like a dedicated sink or anything, just a brew space with a hood. So I am still doing all my cleaning upstairs in the kitchen sink. Stuff like that is still happening. Ironically, even though the space is larger, it still feels very much like I'm brewing in an apartment in a small space. Um, and it may not look like it on camera. I understand that. The real reason I'm not changing my name from the apartment brewer to something else that more accurately describes my situation is simply because of something called SEO or search engine optimization. It's extremely important for YouTubers like myself um, and being an established name in the homebrewing YouTube community now, it is very bad idea for me to change that. It will be detrimental to my search results. People who are subscribed to me who suddenly see a name change and see the same kind of video may be fine with it, but it's not gonna help me find new subscribers. If you Google The Apartment Brewer, things will come up from my channel. And if I change the name of the channel, and you Google The Apartment Brewer, nothing's gonna come up. So that being an incredibly important statistic for a YouTuber like myself means I'm not gonna change that name. And I know that's probably gonna upset some people, but please understand that this is my decision, it's my channel, and I just wanna put that content out there for you guys to enjoy. So I'm sorry if the name doesn't quite line up with exactly what's going on here, but understand that my intention with this channel has always been to just provide good quality content for people who want to learn how to make good beer by themselves and work on recipe development and perfecting beers, things like that. So if you are new here and you like what I've had to say, please hit that subscribe button, check out any of my videos. I'm sure you'll be happy with them. Just avoid the older ones because they have super low production quality. And for my longtime subscribers, thank you for being here, watching this video and still sticking with me even though I'm no longer in an apartment. I'm not gonna plug anything else in this video besides my Patreon supporters who are awesome and my Instagram, which is at the apartment brewer. If you wanna check out some more stuff on a different platform other than just YouTube. Anyway, I am in the middle of a brew day right now, so I gotta get back to that, but thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So until then, cheers.